Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So for today's video, I decided to show you how I grew my brows and how I actually filled them in. I have really thick brows. There was a time in my life where I was in high school, I think I was a sophomore, and I have really thin brows. And the journey to have these brows have been quite long, um, but I have actually tried to um, perfect how I grew my brows just so that I can shape them to how I want them to look like. Um, I actually don't like getting them threaded or waxed. Um, I hate pain, so I avoid that as much as possible. So I'm gonna show you how I groom them and how I fill them in. So before we get started, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the little button down there. As always, my social media are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all the products that I used in this video. And let's get started. Okay, so first, um, I wanna apologize if you guys can hear the fan. <clears throat> it's like really hot in here. So as you can see, my eyebrows are like really, really bushy and I really, really need to like fix them because I haven't grown my eyebrows in like a really long time. Um, so I really need to like plug and like just try to like reshape them again. Um, and yeah, so that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. I have a lot of brow hair. Um, I'm going to try and find like a picture from when I was in high school and insert it here. And I can't believe I ever had those brows. <laughs> they were so thin, like at the end. And I mean, I'm 27, um, and I'm I graduated like it's gonna be 10 years ago from high school. And I think that picture was from when I was like in sophomore year. And um, yeah, and now my mom keeps telling me like, oh, like don't have like big brows and blah blah blah. And I'm like, dude, like, but that's like what I like. So. Um, I like having a really bold brow, um, that's just something that I've, I mean, I really struggled with letting my brows grow and like getting, getting them to where they are now, um, so that's why like, I embrace having so much brow hair because like I can't believe I ever let my brows um, or I over plug them like that. I don't go to like get them groomed, I've only gotten them like waxed twice and I've gotten them threaded once and that was horrible it hurt like it mm, it was the pain was horrible and then um, since then I decided I was like you know what like I'm just gonna do my eyebrows so I don't pluck them um, just because I do I've heard um, and I've I mean I've kind of experienced it that if you pluck them uh, with tweezers um, it takes longer for your hair to like grow back so um, yeah so I don't pluck them I just use a little like thing like this which is like a little racer um, and I just use that and then I mean I do my makeup every day so I just like you know try to like clean them up a little bit every day so um, and I'm, a, I'm just I hate pain and I feel like if I can avoid like feeling the pain of like getting them threaded or like waxed or even like plug them like I'm gonna avoid it at all, co uh, at all costs so I'm gonna brush my hairs upwards and then I'm gonna take some scissors and I'm just going to cut the longer hairs that are so like are peeking through the top of my brows. And then I'm going to take my little racer and this is from the brand Tweezer Man. And Taking my time, not rushing into it, I'm just gonna start kind of like shaving my little hairs around the brow. On top of my brow. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush my hairs downwards. And I'm going to clean up the top of my brow. Now I'm going to take my little um, razor and I'm going to start um, using it at the bottom of my brow. And slowly just taking my time. And I'm going to put my hairs upwards just so that I can see those little hairs. Okay. 
And I mean, you can definitely see the difference between this brow, which is a little bit more groomed. Obviously, when we fill it in, it's going to look more perfect. Uh, but definitely, like, my brows needed some um, grooming because they were out of control. So you can see this definitely needs some grooming. This is more of my, like, natural shape. So I'm going to work on this one now. Okay, so I just finished um, washing my face um, and I did groom both of my brows so they are really nice and clean now and oh my god, it was, it's so nice to actually feel or like see my brows like so like groomed and like pretty. So I used to use the um, shade chocolate but I actually stopped using this because it has more like a reddish undertone and right now I'm more like golden brown, uh, golden brown, <laughs> golden uh, blonde. So for uh, filling them in my brows, I'm going to be using the shade Blonde for the beginning of my brow and then uh, for the tail, I use the color Dark Brown. So I usually start from the tail and then I leave the beginning of my brow for the end. And then the pencil that I use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dual, I think this is the number 12. Um, I've used, like I said, for years and like the name and everything like rubbed off. So um, yeah, so I just picked a little bit of product just a tiny bit and then I usually like put it on the back of my hand and just make sure that I don't have a lot and then I like just brushing my hairs upwards and then I am going to just follow the shape of my brow through the tail And then if you feel that you made a mistake, um, that's why I always clean up my brows with concealer after. I actually don't use concealer. I don't even know why I use a concealer. Um, I use my foundation to clean my brows. And then I just, like you saw, I take the spoolie and I just start brushing the product. And I go back in again. In the back of my hand. So right now I'm outlining the middle of my brow to my tail. Just like that. And then I just brush the product downwards. I've been trying to learn that technique that they use, but because my brow hair is actually really dark, it's I want to say it's black. Um, I can use, I've noticed like there's some YouTubers or like beauty gurus that they use like the flickering and I just, I can't use that technique and I don't know why. Um, I've tried like learning how to do it but it's just, it doesn't come out right. So just with the rest of the product that's on my brush, I just go in between my hairs and then just paint them, paint it in. And then I keep using my spoolie just to blend all that product. Once that I do that, I start. Um, I don't take any extra product, and I just start brushing everything towards the beginning of my brow. Sometimes I don't use the other color, the blonde color. Um, it depends on really what I feel that day. So right now, my beginning of the brow looks a little bit sparse, so I am gonna take a tiny bit of that um, blonde color. And just like I did with the dark chocolate, I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. Blend it. And then here's where I do use that flickering effect, which I just go like this. Just so that the beginning of my brow doesn't look so harsh. And it's really, um, with a really light hand and then I just brush it and then I mean this is I have like I said I have really bold brows um, but the difference between like filling them in and then not filling them in and usually I have like one good brow which the filling in like everything the process is gonna look perfect at the end and then my other brow is just a mess so usually like my good brow is my right brow which looks amazing most of the time and then my left brow is the one that I have a little more trouble with filling them in or like the shape is not the right one or like 
something happens to the left brow. Brushing my eyebrow upward. Following the shape of my brow. Just like that. And then this is how they look right now without like cleaning them with like foundation or anything. To clean up my um, my brows, I use the number F70 brush, and this is a flat flat shader brush, I believe. I'm gonna link it down below. It's it's from Sigma, and I've been using it for years. The number and the name like rubbed off also because I use it every single day. Um, and so right now, I have been using two foundations, uh, but because I'm gonna be outside, I'm gonna go for my True Match um, Super Blendable in W3. And this is how I'm gonna be cleaning my brows today. So I just take a little bit of foundation, in the back of the, in the cap of the foundation, and then I take a bit on the brush, and then put it on my, the back of my hand, so I don't have a lot of foundation. And I'm gonna clean the bottom of my brow first. And then I go in on top of my brow. Definitely my brows are one of the uh, my favorite steps under my face. I think brows and then adding that highlight. that is it for my eyebrow tutorial and how I grew my eyebrows. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below what videos you would like to see next on my channel and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!